Mark Stein is a longtime news watcher, an author, and a columnist, and he joins us tonight. Why? I, I'm wondering this. They put their crack investigators on the question of who made this dumb internet GIF. Why not find out where El Baghdadi is or something? Yeah. If you're that good yeah. at finding stuff. Right, that's, that's what your investigative unit should be doing. This, this guy is entirely tangential to it. The way things work on the internet is uh, somebody sends somebody a picture and that person uh, emails it to somebody else and that person tweets it to somebody else and uh, 37,000 uh, links later it's become a thing. And nobody cares who created it or what other uh, content uh, he has created. Even if you accept that Chris Cuomo's definition of hate speech and bigoted and racist and anti-Semitic material ought to be uh, the standard applied across the internet. Basically a major news organization is uh, policing some no-name schlubs internet content and threatening to reveal his identity if he transgresses their particular standards. That's completely nuts. I mean, Wolf Blitzer has basically put a horse's head in this guy's bed. Uh, and I don't know how this <laughs> happened. See, see, CNN was, the, was like the world's most boring cable network just a month ago. Now it's behaving more and more nuttily each day. So, well, <laughs> that's too good. So, but I mean, they, they seem to have come up with this kind of remarkable standard. They said, look, we're not releasing the guy's name because it would be no. a threat to his safety, presumably his physical safety, right. but we're going to release his name if he says something we don't like. Now, people are calling that blackmail. Right. I don't know if it's blackmail exactly, but it's pretty weird for a news organization to, in effect, threaten harm if someone doesn't do what they say. Well, the name is either newsworthy or it's not. But he got the message, they contacted him, and he immediately takes down all his internet posts. Now, I'm not a great believer in anonymity on the internet. I get tired of uh, being called out by some twerp who has, you know, some butch name and an avatar from Game of Thrones, uh, but he thinks that I'm not being manly enough on the internet. I, I've got, I'm not a particular fan of internet anonymity but this guy got the message he understands that cnn is watching him so that if, if he if he were to make another anti-cnn gif uh, uh, another anti-cnn uh, tweet uh, then they would release the fact that uh, he's got a five hundred dollar lien on his uh, home for unpaid property taxes or his car was seen last tuesday night parked outside madame fifi's bondage parlor this is a this is a ridiculous way for a news organization to behave but it, but the threat of people like Chris, and the, the idea, by the way, of Chris Cuomo and other CNN anchors saying, oh, we're so relieved. At last, you know, there were physical threats to our safety. And at last, we're all relieved because well, now we've got the goods on this guy and we can sleep at night and journalists are free to walk the streets once more. Get lost, you creeps. Uh, the fifth anniversary of uh, the Danish cartoons, I appeared on stage with five other people. Of those five other people I was on stage with in Copenhagen, Copenhagen for the fifth anniversary of the Danish Mohammed cartoons. Uh, one was shot at point blank range. The other had his event shot up uh, and two people were killed. Uh, another was forced out of public life entirely. And the fourth uh, had her family's restaurant firebombed. Those are real threats against media uh, figures that go on in Europe right now. The idea that reworking a joke that everyone knows is a joke is a threat threat to Chris Cuomo's safety is the most narcissistic, solipsistic act of navel-gazing uh, by a, a, a profession that is already so self-obsessed, nobody who isn't in the media can stand the media. <laughs> That's so nicely put. And the sense of humor is always the first thing to go. That's always the sign you've completely lost perspective. CNN has Ministry of Truth. Mark Stein, God bless you for coming on. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Tucker.